Beta decay is different than alpha decay because it doesn't actually involve just the emission of one nucleus of a helium nucleus. It actually involves a change within the nucleus. So what happens is there's two different things. There's a beta minus particle and there's a beta plus particle. A beta minus particle is a fancy way of saying electron, right? And it's called a beta minus because it's got a negative charge. Beta plus decay involves a positron. That's the antiparticle of an electron. So it has the same mass, same size as an electron, but it carries a positive charge. Uh, these are not generally thought of as a subatomic particle because they don't make up atoms, right? It's not a proton, a neutron, or an electron, but it can be emitted from an atom. And so these two illustrations show uh, what happens in beta decay. A neutron actually changes into a proton and emits an electron. You'll notice a negative and a positive add up to a neutral. Uh, and here, a proton emits a positron and changes into a neutron. And so uh, we started with one positive charge and we ended with one positive charge. So these overall result in no net change in charge, but we redistribute where that charge is at. So uh, just like alpha decay didn't change the number of particles, it just changed where those particles were. This doesn't change the charge, it just changes where those charged particles are. So beta decay example, carbon-10 will decay, it undergoes beta plus decay, write an equation and draw a model of this beta decay using different colors. All right, so carbon-10, we find carbon on the periodic table and it's element number six. It's got six protons, it's got a mass number of 10. We have the decay arrow and it says it undergoes beta decay. Remember, beta decay means it's going to emit a positive uh, charged particle, a beta plus particle, so an E plus. Now, the way we think of an E plus particle is it's got no mass number zero uh, because it's not a proton or a neutron and uh, so it's also got a charge of one so while its atomic number isn't one uh, it does have a positive charge of one and so just like before when our numbers had to match our numbers still have to match so the sum of the stuff over here has to be the same so 10 minus zero is still 10 6 minus 1 is 5. And so we look for the fifth element on the periodic table and that's boron. Okay. Now let's think about what happened. I'm just going to model, let's see, I've got six protons, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one of these protons changes. It emits an electron, so let's go, or not an electron, a positron. So that's, we're going to go ahead and make that positron yellow. And it also emits um, the other part of this is a neutron. And as long as we're drawing neutrons, we're going to have four neutrons over here. One, two, three, four. There's our carbon atom. Now, over on the right side, we had this electron, or this positron, sorry, down here. Uh, and we still have our uh, neutrons from over here. So I still have one, two, three, four neutrons that come over and then this particle changed but those other protons did not so I've still got my one two three four five protons that didn't change right so everything that didn't go through this decay is now right here and then everything that did go through the decay uh, that particle changed here and here so that's where my 10 5 comes from I've got 10 particles in the nucleus five of them are protons uh, and my uh, beta plus particle which has a charge of plus one and so uh, when we think about a beta plus beta plus we give it the symbol e plus and then it's got a mass z uh, number of zero and we think of it as having an atomic number of positive one because it has a positive charge calcium 47 undergoes beta minus decay so ca uh, 47 here and then we find calcium on the periodic table it is element number 20 uh, it's going to undergo beta decay beta minus so again it's an electron and electrons don't have a mass number this one has a negative charge so I'm gonna go ahead and put that negative one down here and then I can follow the same rule 47 minus 0 is 47 20 minus a minus one is 21 and so now it's not calcium anymore now it's element 21 which is scandium SC okay? and what happened here 
was one of our protons, actually, uh, not one of our protons, one of our neutrons emitted an electron and became a proton, right? So this one neutron split apart into two separate particles, and so now we have the scandium uh, because we added a proton and we have our beta minus particle. So when we think beta minus, we think an electron, and an electron has zero mass and a negative one charge. So we write it like that with our isotope notation. An unknown atom undergoes beta plus decay. The atom that is produced is neon 20. So we have something, changes. Uh, it's a beta plus, so we write E, zero, one, plus, and it ends up as neon 20. So we've got any mass number 20. We find neon on the periodic table. It is element number 10. And then we just add 20 plus 0 is 20, 10 plus 1 is 11, and so the 11th element on the table is sodium. So sodium is actually went, underwent beta plus decay.